Looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow. That's it! I am sick and tired of your shit pessimism! Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Did you know that preppers are pessimists? I know I've heard that once or twice before, just this morning alone. <laughs> and if you're a prepper, and if you've ever shared that with someone, especially a non-prepper, uh, I'm sure that you've heard that perception as well. And I'm not going to say that it bothers me, because, you know, people can believe what they want to believe, and as long as they're not causing trouble for anyone else based on those beliefs, you know, fine, you know, do whatever you want. Uh, but I do think it's really unfortunate, because I think that perception acts as a barrier for more people to get into prepping, because they see it as just a bunch of pessimistic, scared people that, uh, you know, have no hope for their future. Uh, and that's bad for them, because invariably we all come into crises in our lives that would have been be beneficial to have prepared for. Uh, it's also bad for society as a whole, for reasons that I'll get into in a little bit. Um, but I think more than anything else, it just bothers me because it just intellectually could not be more upside down and backwards. Preppers, well, true preppers, are optimists. I think people would generally see history as a slowly increasing trend of quality of lives for people, more social inclusion, you know, better technology, better medicine, all of that. But on a, a micro level, it's, there's ups and there's downs there. And uh, I think preppers see those downs and they have the hope, the belief, that they can prepare against some of those things and make their lives better because of their efforts uh, in that regard. Uh, and having hope and belief in your own abilities kind of sounds like being an optimist to me as opposed to being a pessimist. Now, uh, I should say, when, I, when I'm talking about preppers, uh, I'm talking about a certain type, uh, a certain group of people. And I guess the easiest thing to do would be to say what I'm not talking about. What I'm not talking about, and I'm not talking about the people that call themselves preppers by stocking up on guns and ammunition and more guns and more ammunition and have as their stated plan, if like the shit ever hits the van, they're going to go out and you know steal from people like myself uh, and uh, you know mooch off of... Uh, you know, all the local population. That, that's, their, that's their prepping plan. Those people to me aren't preppers. Those people are just latent criminals who are just too chicken shit to actually go on any of their criminal adventures now while there's active law enforcement. <laughs> uh, they're leeches. Uh, and that is the opposite of being a prepper in my estimation. A prepper is someone that wants to stand on their own two feet. Uh, they, I'm sure, recognize that, you know, to some degree we're all our brother's keepers and they want to look out for people as well, and they hope that they'd be fortunate enough that if they ever needed some help, someone would help them. But they don't want to depend on that. They like the idea of standing on their own two feet and not depending on the sweat of another's brow, so to speak. Uh, whereas, you know, these kind of marauding criminal leeches, that's exactly what they want to do, <laughs> is depend on other people to help keep them alive, which is kind of the opposite of being a prepper. But for people like myself, it's an act of optimism to be a prepper, the belief that you can make it on your own. And I think that that's, it makes it really unfortunate that so many people are pushed away from prepping uh, based on their false sense of what prepping prepping is. Now, I, I said that uh, one of the, the, the downsides of that is that it has societal implications. And, I, and I'll explain what I mean by that a little bit. Uh, there have been a lot of wildfires and hurricanes lately. Uh, whenever those events happen, you know, FEMA goes in to try to help people. Uh, you know, some people have a view of FEMA that it's like, you know, organization run by alien overlords from another planet to put us all in concentration camps. Other people have a view of FEMA that it is a government organization with limited resources uh, that's staffed by people that want to help. Um, I prescribe more to the latter view uh, of what, uh, what FEMA is. Uh, and if you think about the va just the vast numbers of people during these emergencies that need to be helped, uh, whereas if some of these people had been preppers, they wouldn't require the help, you can imagine how much better FEMA could target its help at the people that truly need it. Now, just recently in Florida, there uh, was an elderly home, and a bunch of people died at this, at this elderly home when they, they lost electricity and the air conditioning went off. Uh, now, a lot of these people were frail to begin with, but consider for a moment with me, uh, if FEMA knew that the vast majority of the community was full of people that were already prepared for this. They could take care of themselves. They didn't need to be rescued. They didn't need to be you know, airlifted off of their roofs and everything. And, and they knew that the only people that really needed help were some people at old folks' homes, some people at hospitals, things of that nature. And they could really focus 
their efforts and their attention and their help to those people that truly needed it, do you think that those people at the old folks' home would be dead today? If FEMA knew poof, that's where we needed our help and, we didn't, and they didn't have to, I don't want to say waste time, but uh, they didn't have to expend time saving scores and scores and scores of people they could have saved themselves if they'd given it a little forethought. Now, I'm not accusing non-preppers of being murderers, <laughs> but you can see where the potential that's here, where if people did become a little bit more preparedness minded, how much better the outcomes could be for everybody when these inevitable disasters, hurricanes, wildfires, wars, and all these things happen. I'm optimistic <laughs> about the potential for how much better things can be for people. I can't help it, I'm a prepper, I'm optimistic. <laughs> That's it, think about it. Preppers aren't pessimists at all. The real ones, we believe in ourselves and we believe in you too. That if you put a little bit of forethought into getting yourself ready for some of these things, that you can ride these things out much, much, much more comfortably than otherwise. That's it, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.